Personalized mastery learning really means that a student is going to work at something until they get it. Personalized mastery learning is trying to define the right path for each student at any given time. It's what the child needs when they need it. And then to have the assessment tools to be able to be very specific and determine what it is they need. Valuing the child as an individual person and planning instruction for that particular child. So one of the most important things when you're thinking about personalized mastery learning is getting to know every single student individually. We spend a lot of time pre-assessing to find out where students are at so we have a good measure uh, as to where to direct them with what they're working on. We have students at a whole wide range of uh, different levels and learning styles and learning abilities so we try and uh, cater what we're um, giving the students based on that. At Avison we would say this is the way we he does it and this is the way we need to to change to fit what he needs. We are using a variety of assessments and observation tools and one-on-one -on -one interaction with kids to make sure that they're truly mastering the content and the standards that, that they're expected to for their grade level. We have more adults to every student which enables us to really personalize what the student needs. You see them demonstrate mastery of a skill that you have um, work, you've been working on with them, that you can also use that teacher observation as evidence of mastery, and for the students themselves to be able to point out, oh look, before I could not do this, and now I can. And as students demonstrate mastery, then we move on to different learning outcomes that they need next. But we've also developed mastery learning outcomes that give a frame to what they're doing. Each outcome has a rubric which tells you if you're emerging, developing, proficient, or advanced in a skill, and it actually lists each part of what would make you proficient. And the mastery aspect is the part where they have a very clear understanding of what they need to do in order to show that they completely understand and know that skill. And once they've shown with evidence, they then have to defend why you did what you did. So students understand the idea of thinking about their own thinking. And that's really the frame of personalized mastery learning. What we really force the students to do is reflect on what it is they're learning and think about that and then make that process kind of become natural, like breathing. Kids having the opportunity to really thrive because wherever they're at in their learning, they're allowed to just keep moving forward and have the support needed to do that. If a child is, for example, struggling in literacy, that they, he or she would receive the additional support needed. However, if a child's working far above grade level, they wouldn't be held back. And I think that that is um, really what makes Avison Avison.